Hi guys, welcome back to Beauty with Tasso. Today I will be showing you how to do this quick, easy style with these bomb travel braids in the front and these long box braids in the back. So you just keep on watching so you can see how I achieve this style in no time. So I'm starting off with my fro and I will go ahead and part my hair from ear to ear so I can section off for the top braids that will be coming back. And my hair is clean. I'm not sure what that is. I guess lint balls. I don't know. Couldn't tell you. But I'm just going to do a small braid right at the crown of my hair, splitting between the back where the braids will be and the top part where the tribal braids will be. And I'm going to go ahead and corn roll my hair down in the back so I can apply my wig, girl. <laughs> yes. So this is one way that you guys can you know, finesse these box braids and these travel braids. So this is a wig that I received from Hair Spells. Of course, you can just wear it as it is, but I thought it'll be cute to pair the hair up with um, some travel braids. I wasn't a big fan of the hairline because um, it was very dense and I wasn't able to like pull out any baby hair without like cutting the actual braid. So I thought it'd be a good idea to show you guys how I achieve these box braids in the back with the like the travel braids at the top so um this just cuts the time and once it's all done you can't even tell that it's a wig i just went ahead and sewed a right across um the hairline of the wig so you can't even tell especially with the braids coming down over the side so now i will go ahead and show you guys that it doesn't have any lace in the back it's just like the braid so in between if you open it up you will be able to tell it's a wig but just coming down you can't tell sis <laughs> okay you can do this, put a wig on the back, or you can just box braid the back of your hair. I'm just showing you guys what I decided to do with this box braid wig. And I'm using some Gorilla Snot as well as some She's Bomb Goo hair gel. And just taking out a little bit of hair to swoop my edges. And then I will go ahead and braid my hair back. I'm starting off with my hair, just braiding it back. And then I will take some braiding hair and actually feed that in to get the braid thicker and as long as the box braids in the back. So that's all I'm doing here, just feeding in the hair. And I am like a lazy feed-in braider because, you know, it's tedious and it takes a lot of time. So most of the time when I do my feed-in braids, I only add in like a few strands of hair. Like here, I'm just adding in two pieces of hair. And plus, I didn't want the front braids to be too much bigger than the back. So that's why I wanted to kind of keep the braiding hair that I added in at a minimum so that they wasn't like too much of a difference. So I'm just pretty much freestyling my braids. I'm just braiding the sides up. And then when I get towards the um, kind of side top, that's when I do like the little triangles to give it like a different little look. So I just keep repeating the same steps, feeding in the hair, only feeding in two pieces. And if you can see here how I'm feeding in the hair, you can do it either one of two ways you can do it how I'm doing it or you can just pull both strands of the hair inside so I'm going to go ahead and do the triangle so I section my hair off for one braid and then section apart off again so that I can do the triangles and I'm putting some edge control on my parts just to help define my parts and make them look like neater and then I'm doing triangle boxes to go into my two little side braids just to give it like a different look this is something really really simple that you can do but when you actually look at it you think that more work was put into it however you're just doing some little plaits so once i have that row plaited up i will start my section off with my hair again and one of the triangles braid that back and then I will still add in a piece of the braiding hair like that and just keep on going. And this part, I added in two pieces of hair as well. Pull that back. And how I'm leaving that strain of hair out, you don't have to do that. You can just pull it back as you go. But um, that's how I was doing mine. I kind of do mine differently every time I do the feed ins. <laughs> I do it one or two ways. So here, again, 
doing the same exact thing. And if you want, like I said, this wig was cool. You can wear it just as the wig, but I thought this would be something cute and simple that you guys can do. It um, It's nothing to go and purchase this wig and then just freestyle the top of your hair like this. Or if you want to just wear the box braids full wig, you can wear it like that, obviously. <laughs> So I'm going to go ahead and do this side exactly how I did this side. So there, it probably took me like an hour and a half to braid the top of my hair. It took me a little longer than what I thought it was going to take me, but it was worth it because it was like a whole style. If I would have did this, it probably would have taken me like 10 hours to do the braids in the front as well as the braids in the back. So you guys, let me know what you think about this video. I thought this is something really cute that you can do in no time, something cute for vacation or, you know, just as like a protective style that doesn't take 10 hours, only takes a good two hours to achieve, if that. All right, guys, leave me a comment down below. I love you. And until next time, bye.